Hi everyone. Okay, we're going back in time again. So we did fourth grade long division, right? Now we're gonna do this diamond math problems. Honestly, I don't know when you did this. Multiplication tables was much early, maybe, oh gosh, like fourth grade? I don't know, it seems like everything's like fourth, third grade. Um, third, fourth, yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, so we're gonna start factoring. And so this is the assignment I wrote um, oops, just so I can scribble, I wrote problem 1, 5, 13, and 22, so we're going to go through this. Okay, so let's read the directions. It says, complete the diamond problems, or they call it the diamond method. The top cell contains the product of the numbers in the left and right cells, while the bottom cell contains a sum. Okay, what does that mean? So you have this diamond or X, right? Okay, magic X, whatever. Okay, so what happens is we're going to be given two numbers. So the right and the left. See, right and left. Uh, right and left. Okay. Those two values that they give you, when they multiply, because remember, product means multiplication, you're going to multiply them and you're going to pay attention to the signs in terms of positive, negative, and you're going to honor them, right? And we're going to write that number on the top cell. So the top cell, or the top area space, is the product. The bottom is, is the summation, so you're going to add or subtract. And again, you're going to honor the positive and the negative. So if we read it again, it says, complete the diamond problems. The top cell contains the product. The bottom cell contains the sum. Okay, and then 13 and 14, they kind of put them in, they give you numbers, and you're going to try and figure it out. So you need to know your multiplication table. Okay. This helps with factoring, by the way. All right. Okay, so here we go. They give me positive 11 and negative 1. Okay, so what's the product of those two numbers? Okay, well, what's positive 11 times negative 1? It's negative 11. So that's my product. Whoops, move my finger. That's my product. The bottom is the summation, meaning you add or subtract. So what's positive 11 plus negative one, but you guys know that you can just go what's 11 minus one, and you would just get 10. You could put the positive 10 if you want to be extra, right? But you're essentially taking the two numbers, you're multiplying them, and you're summing them, right? If this is super extra, that's fine. It is but you can just go, what's 11 minus 1? 10, what's 11 times negative 1? Negative 11. Perfect. That's it. You filled it in. And you'll see when we get into factoring, the actual factoring lecture, you'll see how um, this magic X is done to the side. And it's super helpful. And it's a great graphic organizer. Okay, that's really essentially all it is. Okay, so let's try this. We're going to product and we're going to sum. Okay, so what's positive 10 times negative 6? negative 60. So easy. And so that's the product on top. Okay, what about the bottom? We're going to sum it. So what's positive 10 plus negative 6? Okay, that's being super extra. What's 10 take away 6? Positive 4, right? What's 10 minus 6? 4, right? Which is the same up here. So your summation product, multiply, add, subtract. Okay, let's go to 13. So what happens if they don't give us these two numbers? Okay, 19 is the summation. So I have 12. So that means 12 plus some number gives me 19. So what is that? It's positive 7. 12 plus 7 gives me 19. Or you can say, what's 19 minus 12? 7. Okay, so now find the product. What is 12 times 7? 94? 84. Ooh, that was bad. Positive 84. And there you go. So you may ask to be told. Okay, so here we go. Here's, um, here's 20 and here's 9. Okay, they gave us the product and they gave us a summation. Okay, so now let's try and work with 20. Remember, this is a product, meaning 
two numbers got multiplied together and gave me 20. Okay, so let's think of all our possibilities. And this is where factoring, and this is the way factoring comes, by the way. You're going to be given these two, and you have to come up with here. So this is a perfect bleed into factoring. Okay, well, how do you come up with 20? Right, meaning we're going to come up with all two numbers, combinations that give us 20. 1 times 20, 2 times, ah, 2 times 10, sorry. 3, no, 4 times 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I'm back at 10. Okay, so these are all the possibilities of coming up with a product of 20. Okay, one of these is the winner. Okay, so which one? Well, you have nine. It needs to sum to nine. Okay, so this is where you start looking at your symbols. 20 is positive. So in order for 20 to be positive, they're either both positive or they're both negative. Well, nine is positive. So both of these values are gonna be positive, which means I'm, I'm really, really gonna add here. Okay, so what's one plus 20? 21, nope. What's two plus 10? 12, nope. What's four plus five? Nine, and there's my winner. And so this is four and five. And again, if you did five, four, it doesn't matter. Okay. That is the diamond method. That's what this worksheet is covering. Okay? All right. I'll end it. Bye, guys.